Well, if uh, you're, uh, you may or may not know it, almost one third of all the food we eat is pollinated by bees, but those honeybees are disappearing and no one seems to know why. Yeah, so without bees, our diets would change significantly. There would be no more apples, cherries, oranges, not even coffee, coffee. surprisingly, <laughs> to name a few. So what are we going to do about this? Joining us this morning to talk about it are Randy Sue Collins and Paul Martin with Organic Beekeeping 101. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks we for having should, us. We should say that Organic Beekeeping 101 is actually video. a teaching video right. that you spent a year making with with you on this, uh, but one of the things that we've learned just in reading this morning is that bees are endangered at this point in time. They're just falling by the wayside for they some are. reason. Yeah, honeybees actually all over the world are mm -hmm. having some problems right now, uh, especially in the United States, and they are doing a lot of research on how they can help the honeybee. And one of the ways that we want to help the honeybee is by offering this DVD for just anybody, any homeowner or any renter, um, to start their own hive because mm -hmm. that's what we really need in the world is more smaller amounts of hives in certain areas. Why is that? Why do we need smaller hives? Um, the commercial beekeepers have, that have thousands of hives are not able to organically, usually organically uh, run their hives the way that we can as an individual citizen. Mm -hmm. And even here in San Francisco it's legal to keep bees in the, within the city limits, and some people even have hives on their um, balconies of their I apartment no buildings. Idea. You don't need a lot of space to have a hive. So in preparing this video, was this a learning experience for you as well? Oh, absolutely. I, I knew nothing about beekeeping until I took Randy's class, and I said, let's start from the very, very beginning, buying the equipment, getting bees, show me everything that needs to be done, and I will videotape it. And mm -hmm. your interest in taking our class was for what reason? Actually, at, at that time, I was really, you know, it's one of those things you drive by a, a beehive, and you think sure. it'd be really cool to have my own honey. Uh, right. I'd like okay. to try that someday, but I always thought it was really expensive, really hard to do, and in taking the class, mm -hmm. I was amazed at how easy everything actually is, and mm -hmm. that's what got me started on it. And of course, the research then after that, uh, the movies oh, like, uh, um, the vanishing of the vanishing bees. the bees and such. Mm -hmm. They were all. Um, they were all. They would all end the movie with, "What can we do uh -huh. about this problem?" And I sure. thought, "Well, hey, we can show people how to raise raise mm -hmm. honeybees." And as Randy said, our, our motto is: instead of one beekeeper with ten thousand hives, how about ten thousand beekeepers, each with their own hive? Well, right. That sounds. And, that sounds uh, good. And I think that part of the problem is the pesticides, or the thing, the pesticides, as well as the things that the the large uh, beekeepers use to, to keep those bees uh, proliferating. And Absolutely, uh -huh. and what we do um, with uh, the organic beekeeping method is I don't do any treatments, I don't recommend any treatment of any kind within the hive. Uh, a lot of people um, choose to put chemicals in their hives to help combat pests and mm -hmm. parasites and things. And you know, the bees have been around for millions of years, so they know how to do it themselves. You <laughs> just leave them alone and let them, let them do, what do they their do. thing, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they can survive. Randy, tell us a little bit about, about organic uh, beekeeping and how that is growing, I'm guessing, among small, uh, small beekeepers? Yes, most people, especially in this area, you know, I'm in Santa Rosa, so I'm in Sonoma County, where you can find organic on every corner, which is mm -hmm. wonderful. I'm really grateful for that. And um, more people, in my area especially, and I'm finding around the United States as well, are trying to get more natural. They sure. know that pesticides are not the way to go, and so they want to try to do things more naturally. And we've sold DVDs to a few states back east, and uh, I've had several emails of, um, of our clients who said, you know, we didn't even know this was possible to keep bees organically. How do you start? <laughs> you get Randy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you get your DVD. DVD. You get your DVD. DVD. Yeah, DVD 101. But, but yeah. How, does, how yes. does one become a beekeeper? You get the call. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I, I yeah, would think so. The, yeah, the love of bees, you just have the interest. Um, one of the things I would highly recommend is no matter where you live across the world, country and across the world, there's uh, local beekeeping associations in uh, just about every town. Yeah. It's uh, a great idea to get involved with your local beekeeping association. Learn as much as you can. There's a lot of information out there that you can get on beekeeping and honeybees. Um, and just read up what as much as you can. Take what resonates mm -hmm. and throw Is the it rest away. Is it a lot of work? How much? No, no, not for me. I no? don't. I I like to do things as simply uh -huh. and as easily as possible. 
and um, I don't go into the hives very often. So is this your full time or side job? No, it's it's my life, but it's not my living yet. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, yeah. there you go. Well, you go get in the film industry now. <laughs> yeah, <Yes. laughs> we're going to make a big star out of Randy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Randy Collins and Paul Martin, thank you so much for joining us. And if you'd like to find out more information, all you have to go it'll do is go to their website, Organic Beekeeping 101. Dot com. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks for having us. It was, it was wonderful great. to be here. Thank you. We'll be right back.